hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is Mibi Mira right here again if you're stopping by for the first time please consider hitting the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel but if you are not thank you so much for sticking around you already know what this video is all about so today i'm going to be talking about my crazy travel experience but we're going to be concentrating on Benet republic guys it was crazy but it was crazily dope like crazily dope it was crazy in a dope way quick because i enjoyed my time there it was a very short while but then i saw part two so it's gonna be more like a story time so without wasting so much of your time let us head straight into this video now guys i don't know how long this video is gonna take but i feel a little bit hungry right now so i will just go grab some biscuits and i'll be back so yeah, I'm back here. Um, I have this hobnobs with me. This is um hobnobs with um milk chocolate. I don't know if you've seen this before, but lately this has been my fave. Like this has to be your fave if you have tried it out. Um, a biscuit chocolate fix. So if you watch most of my travel videos, you will see I pack a whole lot of chocolate, even though I can't get it in the place I'm traveling to. But then that's by the way. Talking about my crazy travel experience. When the Republic was the height of them all, oh, like it was crazy. It started being crazy from Lagos, like trying to leave Lagos to Benin Republic was mad. So I traveled with Betty Green. Traveled together with her, it was an impromptu travel. Like it was a public holiday on Friday. We were like, we don't have enough leave and we have so many places to go to so we could just like utilize this public holiday so it was a normal um friday public holiday and we decided to meet on a friday if i can remember and then we decided to meet at oshodi okay left my house early morning getting to oshodi was whoa there was traffic i finally got to oshodi hooked up with her and then we went to look for a bus that was going to take us to Benin republic This is so yummy, guys. So, yeah, we got to the first park and they told us 20,000 naira. Like, to cross this border, this place is not farm, man. As in, what are you guys saying? Before we went, I thought it was impromptu. We didn't even take up to two days to plan it, so we didn't prepare for anything. We just said, okay, we're going to go there on Friday and see what we're going to do, come back on Sunday or Monday. It was just like a three days trip and. We just did some sharp sharp kind of planning like in a nigerian way without like making enough inquiries hmm. so hmm. this is yummy someone already told us that getting to many republic from oshodi is about two thousand naira with just a regular car and this guy's telling us 20k like excuse me just get me to the border i will cross myself and i'll find my way because it's not even really far you know so yeah we left there we went to another place and we finally got a car for 2500 naira we were excited we paid and then we hopped into that car man that was where it started from it was so crazy that this man had to take us round Lagos just to pick a parcel he was going to deliver at the border. We left. I left my house at 6 a.m. Our plan was that we we're going to get to Benin Republic at 1, 2, 3, so we could go to the market and do our first vlog. Remember, we just have three or four days for this trip and we need to record up to 10 videos. At 2 p.m., we were still in Lagos. I'm like, you know what? We are doomed, like, seriously. Hmm. When this man was taking us round Lagos, I'm like, what's happening? Like, are you trying to dodge traffic? He said, ah, oh, there's only traffic on that road, blah, 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 blah. So when we got to trade fair, he was like, he has to go inside and pick something. I'm like, bro, you have to pick something. So this is the reason why you've been taking us round and round. Man, at 2 p.m., we were still in Lagos. And then finally, 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 he picks the stuff. Do you know the most annoying part is that when he got there, they started dragging, they started bargaining. Hey, this is how much this is. This. Don't take it. Don't do this. We spent like another one hour there, and after the deliberation and everything, they gave the man the parcel and they let us go. 
that was how the journey began something i thought it was going to be just three hours it took us like eight hours <clears throat> getting to the border it started raining it started raining heavily as in there was no way we could escape because we had to get down from the car and then go through the border ourselves because they have to like stamp you in stamp you out they have to check some, some of those stuff and then when we got to the border we are still at the nigerian part of the border this ndla or something they check for drugs or something and then they stopped us that they were gonna, gonna search our bag i'm like wow okay i gave him my bag i'm like this is a female bag so just be careful you don't just put your hand and then the man just said bringing out my things i'm like why are you doing that he's like do not disrespect me i'm doing my job i'm like okay okay it's all good all good so after that they let us go we got through we got to the border they told us okay everything is fine but i think your yellow card is this i'm like what are you saying i just traveled like last month i went to ghana and this is the same yellow card that you see well i know there's an upgraded one you need to get that one you need to do this okay just pay 500. and we're like okay you want money take money we left guys this rain became very heavy to the point that we were so drenched and then finally we survived we got into Benin republic Got my bags, my hair, everything was wet. We got in there. Fortunately for us, we saw someone that we could change our money, we changed our dollar to Sefer, and we took a cab to town. When we were preparing for this, I told Betty Grace, let us book our Airbnb. She refused, though. She was like, eh, when we get there, maybe we will go places and see if we can do Airbnb, we can do hotels, blah, 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 blah. blah. We thought we were going to get there at 3 p.m or 2 p.m but then we got there at 7 p.m okay we were so stranded we tried um okay we got there at 6 30 the day was still bright they stopped us at the market so we went straight to get a sim card so we can make calls and whatever whatever the funniest thing was that i forgot that they all speak french in Benin republic and i go excuse me i want to get an mtm sim card and the guy was like sava Oh, I don't even know the word. Like he was like, mm -mm. like I don't know what you're talking about. He started speaking fresh. I'm like, blessing, you are gone. Like Mira, today is today. I looked at my time. It was 7 p.m. We called someone. Please, can you help us translate? Funny enough, the guy that took the same cab we took actually came from Nigeria. He is from Benin Republic, but he actually stays in Nigeria. So we called him. You know how to speak English, right? He says yes. I'm like, thank you, bro. We want to get an MTN SIM card and blah blah blah. And he helped us. We got the SIM card and it was time to book for Airbnb. It was 7 p.m. There was no way to start looking for hotels. And we asked someone, is there any good hotel that is there? Da, 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 da. And then they told us, okay, we have guest house around them. Like, guest house? Like, no, I want to do apartmental, bro. Hmm. And then after all said and done, I was like, I need internet. So we got the SIM card, registered, subscribed. I, um, turned on my wi-fi and started using the internet to check the airbnb i was browsing so fast just to see and you know airbnb you, they would like take time to verify so i finally found one and i booked and man it was taking forever to verify we stood at the market for two good hours guys it was nine o'clock at the market i'm like this is a country i've never been to i know nobody i just took my gadget for filming and i came to the republic to film and now I'm stranded outside. Man, next time you want to travel, don't ever be like me. Like, I haven't done this ever in my life. Like, before I travel, I try to like book my Airbnb, book down everything I need. I don't need stress. I just get to the airport and then go straight to the Airbnb. And I'm fine. But this time around, I told you it was impromptu. Like, we started planning on Wednesday or Thursday when we traveled on Friday. Just imagine, just a day, you know. <sighs> so the Airbnb took time. I'm like, they aren't verifying this. I tried chatting up the woman, she wasn't saying anything, and then I cancelled it. And after I cancelled it, the woman replied me. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with me tonight? This is 9 p.m. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna let help you. This is the address. Come to Soso Place, and when you come, we actually convert the money to Sefa and you give me cash. I'm like, if that's what you want, then it's very fine with me like i don't have a choice man 
So she gave us the address and then we took a bike because in Benin there is no Uber, there is no taxi fire, there is nothing. So we had to take a bike. We took a bike, we got to the location. With our bus, like we were looking like people that was coming from the village because we were drenched, we were looking so rough. Like I'll find a picture, a video and just like show you guys for you all to see. So getting there, we had to wait for this woman for 30 more minutes. When I was telling her, she was like, oh, the person is coming. I'm like, Mama, I'm not seeing the person. I'm not in the... She was like, you know, I'm not there. Like, I'm in, I'm in the UK. I'll be, I'm in the US. I'm like, oh, bro, you own the area. I'm Someone else is managing it for you. You are calling the person to come and pick me. Why you are not here? You're telling me this person is close, but you're not even sure because you're not here. You don't even know the person has left his house. Like, oh, my goodness. Grace was like, Mira, this is a bad idea. I'm like, we saw the signs when we started coming from Lagos. We could have just turned back. Che, che. Hey! And she was like, see, let's not spoil the phone. We're just going to have fun regardless of what is going to happen here. Even though we're going to have so many uncertainties because we didn't plan well. Coming here was a hassle. Getting an apartment was a hassle. We just need to find a way and be happy in between. We're going to be here for three, four days. Let's make it count. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be worth it. So we waited and after like a few minutes in fact this guy came at 9 45 and then took us into the house and i was so glad that the house was exactly what i saw on airbnb so i'm like okay okay fine this is not just a random guest house it's an airbnb and it's up to standard and i was happy for that ah my biscuit broke actually oh we got into the house and we were like, yes, we can do an apartment tour here. <laughs> we slept, we unpacked, took our bag, slept, waited for the next morning. And that was when the adventure started. Woke up the next morning and I don't know what we tried doing, tried to iron the clothes and the lights went off. I'm like, like, bro, what just happened? We had to like call the guy. He took so much time to come to recharge the electricity, whatever, whatever. He now told us, oh, you know what? This is a regular unit. Um, you don't have to turn your AC at a certain time, and you don't have to turn on the iron. If you use AC and if you use iron, this is gonna happen. I'm like, okay, AC no, iron no. Don't worry, we we'll use the fan. And then we planned our day, went out. Just we just we just tried to make um, the best out of those three days. So we started going out, filming, having fun, and all those things. Until the day we decided to go to Wida. Hmm. Going to Wida was a very crazy experience because I was like, Temple of Python, I'm gonna go there, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I was winding my mouth, I'm gonna go there, I'm not gonna be scared, I'm not gonna do this, blah blah blah. Guys, going to Wida was another journey from Kotonu. Okay, it took us about an hour and 30 minutes to get there. I'm like, inside these three days, I'm already spending one hour 30 minutes to get to a particular place. I'm going to just film one content. Like, what is all this? Grace didn't want to go, so I persuaded her. I would say to go getting there, started filming. It was all good until I got into the temple and they brought out the python. And then the guy was like, Do you know why I'm going to wrap it around your neck? I said, Oh, God, no. I am not brave the way you think I am. Don't worry, I'll carry it myself. No, 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 no. I cannot wrap this thing around my neck. He was like, no, you're not going to do this. If you hold it like this, I said, I'm like, oh God, calm down. I'm the one that paid. I'm the one that don't want to wrap it around my neck. So oh, don't worry, just calm down, calm down. He was like, okay, this is it. Just hold it this way. I'm just going to leave a, a short video of what happened there. And this was it. I think that was the most scariest um, adventure I've ever been to. Like, it was scary. After he showed me that Python, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go inside the room where they kept them to see. And when I got there, man, the Pythons were just running each other. And another funny thing is that when you touch them, they are usually so cold, like very, very cold. Man. That was so scary and after that i'm like you know what there are some things i'm not going to do again but yeah i enjoyed it and i enjoyed every part of traveling to benir the street food the nightlife the apartments everything was just so dope 
in as much as we had some crazy experience traveling to Benin, it was worth it. It was worth it. And it was something I feel I should just come on here and just let you guys know. And basically, I think that is what it is for now. And um, I think we might be done with this video. I will have to leave you guys now. If you love this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do you want my hobnob milk chocolate biscuit? You can come and get some. Okay, I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Oh, these are gums together. This is what the biscuit looks like. And then there's chocolate on the other end of it. It is yummy, yummy, yummy. Like, what am I doing? This is not a food video. Hmm? Guys, sorry if I'm making you celebrate right now. Anyways, we are done with this video. And I think this was what I experienced traveling to the Republic. Apart from the hassles, getting there and getting an apartment. And then the scary Temple of Python. Every other thing was so dope, so pain, guys. If you want to travel to Benin Republic, Kotonou and all that, go ahead and do that. That, that place is dope. That nightlife is top notch. The food is good. And I'll have to leave you guys now. If you love this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please do not forget to hit, 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 hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. And until then, bye-bye.